What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing for this fabulous Tuesday? I know some of us had a day off. Uh, well, t it's my day today, but by the time the video uh, posts up, it'll be uh, actually yesterday. I've been doing a lot of shipping and stuff here today, catching up on a lot of stuff since I kind of took like a half day to myself yesterday. But PSA did come in. I'm going to fix this camera as I keep talking here. It actually came in Saturday <laughs> while I was at the show. There was no way I'd pick it up from the UPS store. But plan is still to come live a little bit later tonight around between 8 and 8.30 tonight. So just uh, keep that notifications and bell thingy on and uh, in case you guys want any of this stuff before I go post it in the store. So let's get a going here. Charizards. I'm going to tell you if it's not going, it won't be here. Uh, some of this stuff will already be on its way to DC Sports. These two will. They're nines. No worries on that because I did 10 four out of the six. So, one of the two sure on Pokemon a whole lot. I know a lot of it deals with the back and how rounded the corners and stuff are, but we did end up getting ten or four tens on these, which I'm really happy about. These were the promotional ones that came in the boxes and stuff, so four of them will be up for sale. I don't know. These have some weird pricing on it. I know on eBay I had one with DC Sports sell for like 80 bucks and got paid for, but then I see them selling for like 50 so I'll figure it out. I won't know the pricing on this stuff till then, till later tonight. This will be up if anybody wants a, a Torkelson draft paper, PSA 10. A lot of hype on him right now. I mean, more in Dominguez, but this will be off DC Sports 9. Edwards Hilaire, red, white, and blue prism. Top and bottom got me on centering. I was hoping I might have just been in on it, but pretty sure it was top and bottom. Now I take it back. Somehow that corner got jammed. Huh. Okay. This is a nice one. 10 for the burrow. I believe this and the Charizards paid for my order, basically. This here, just because I'm a Steelers guy, out of 99, the playoff ticket, Devin Bush. This is the team logo, PSA 10. Real happy on that. I pulled this myself. Uh, the only thing, only uh, box that I got on pre-order, I remember. So, kind of cool, different. All right, all these, except for one, is going to D.C., guys. Nine, Gafford. All right, it should be up here. Three tens on Gafford. Those all be a one big lot. I don't think anybody here is a huge Daniel Gafford guy. I was having hope on this next guy, um, Kyle Guy. I don't know, maybe it's just because of his name or probably because I was pulling a lot of them. Nine on that one. Five tens. But those will go DC Sports too. These are like $10 cards. I'm just going to have them put them all in a lot to tens. Finally... But this is a thicker case, and I couldn't remember why. These were thicker cards. Um, John Morant, 10. Optic Lottery Ticket. This is coming back right about a good time, actually, for Morant. I want to say when I looked these up, they were like $50, $60, maybe more. I, I don't remember now. But in reality, I think all this cost me like three-ish. Yeah, around 300 on. And I know the Burrow, and even if the Charizards, um, I think I count them at 50 a piece for 400 with the Burrow. The rest of it's just all play money, I guess you could say, or extra profit, whatever, onto it. So it's, it's pretty good, a little bit of profit. And see, I'm one of them people, I don't, I don't dwell upon making huge profits on my stuff all the time. Because I look at, at the end of the year how much profit I made versus, oh, I only made $10 on this deal. Or I made $100, $500, $15. I know a lot of people are hung on that because they want to always make max huge profits. Uh, just a word of advice to anybody out there. You don't have to always make ma you know huge profits. 
What I would look at is, you know, how you're doing every three months, the end of every three months at the end of the year, because those little profits will add up and it can be stuff you're passing away completely onto it. And and my example is if I go to a show and I buy five cards for $80, we'll say, right? Say they're all worth $25 a piece and I put them, say, in the store for $20 a piece. You know, I make 20 bucks roughly on to it at the end of the day, maybe 15 after they take out their taxes and stuff like that, 12 to 15 bucks. But if I do that weekly, you know, and then you take that by month, that's five, six hundred dollars in the course of a year. So never get frustrated. Oh, man, I'm only making, you know, 15, 20 dollars on this or 100. You're not always going to make max huge profits when you do. It's good. But look at the big picture overall, because what I like doing is saving my little profits up and buying a PC thing. That's me. But I just figured I'd put that out there because I noticed a lot of people have been getting bummed that uh, I'm not going to make much off this, like $20, $30. It's still a profit. It's better than a loss, you know. Um, Regardless, profit is a profit. It's a plus sign. But that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you all a little later tonight. Uh, with this little stack here, in case anybody's interested into it. Um, hey, do me a favor. You guys put in the comments if you are interested. That'll like kind of put me if I am going to come live or not. There's only like maybe eight cards there or something like that there. If not, I can just put them in the store. It's no big deal. I, for some reason, I thought there was a lot more that I was putting in the store. But I guess I am wrong. <laughs> but... Um, other than that, take care. I do have two other things in assembly. My first economy from December's in it in there, and then I have a modern. And I actually, with my modern, PSA 10, two Jordans, one from the 2000s, one I believe is from the 90s. And I PSA 10, a 92 Fleer Ultra Griffey All-Stars, which is cool because it's one of the harder ones to get for the set. But all right, guys, I'll talk more about that when those come in. Have a good one, and I'll catch you guys next video.